Hey guys, so this is where the sun is supposed to be. You can't really see her. Luckily, I remembered from yesterday's exercise, so I could do my sun gazing this morning, which turned out to be more like a cloud gazing experience. And I did it for 10 seconds, because as I told you yesterday, you shouldn't increase the amount of sun gazing if there is no sun because there's not really a point of increasing it when you're anyway just staring towards the clouds. So there is not much to tell you about today. About yesterday I can tell you a little bit how I felt. I actually didn't expect the one day sun gazing to have any, experience, uh, any effect on me, but it did. I felt horrible. I had a tremendous headache behind my left eye and I was thirsty like crazy and I was craving salt. So I don't know if that has directly to do with the sun gazing but I think anyway it was quite remarkable. Another remarkable thing were the heavy rains yesterday. I got soaked in rain on my way back home which usually doesn't happen. So I felt that this was maybe a sign that I should be a bit more in balance with the elements. So I started like I told you yesterday with pouring water from my left hand into my right hand and down to the ground just to feel a little bit more in balance with all the elements. Yeah, um, apart from that, getting up this morning was actually not that hard but I think I am an early bird and the sunrise at 4.30 is actually the perfect time of the day I feel. So let's hope that tomorrow there will actually be some sun and I can go on with 20 seconds. See you tomorrow.